with the two projects releasing a year apart similarly to Infinity War and Endgame. This suggests the two will be overtly connected, but Marvel Studios can't simply repeat history Avengers, Infinity War's ending will surely go down in history as one of the most shocking and dramatic endings in superhero cinema, as Earth's mightiest heroes lost in their battle against Thanos, and trillions of people across the universe were killed, including many beloved heroes. Thanos winning in Infinity War set up Endgame to be an even darker story, set five years after the catastrophic snap. Since Avengers, the Kang Dynasty is the first Avengers film after Infinity War and Endgame. There is a lot of pressure for the film to deliver an ending just as dramatic, but copying Infinity War's ending is practically impossible without seeming like a rip-off having Thanos win against the Avengers in Infinity War came as a huge shock to audiences, but this sort of ending might now be expected when heading into Avengers, the Kang Dynasty. This means that Marvel Studios simply can't let Kang the Conqueror win during the Phase 6 film, and since two of his variants, He Who Remains and Kang the Conqueror himself, have already been defeated in Loki and Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, having him be defeated again shouldn't be too difficult. However, this means that Avengers, the Kang Dynasty's danger factor may be lowered significantly, unless Marvel Studios try and match Infinity War's ending in another way. Marvel's latest Disney Plus series, Secret Invasion, just retconned Avengers, Infinity War's final scene, making it worse in the eyes of many fans. The recent scroll-based project shocked audiences by revealing that War Machine himself was one of the shape-shifting aliens. Not only that, but the swap might have happened as early as Captain America, Civil War. This understandably led to plenty of backlash regarding the decision, with many fans exclaiming that it ruined key MCU scenes. The main example used was Tony Stark's death in Avengers Endgame, where Don Cheadle's character is at his best friend's side when he dies. It's much less impactful when audiences learn that it was actually just a random scroll named Rava. Rhodes' twist makes Infinity Wars worse. Marvel Studios' big scroll twist for Don Cheadle's Colonel James Rhodes probably retconned Avengers Infinity Wars' final scene, making it worse. The sequence in question is just after Thanos' snap goes off and people start disappearing from Wakanda and the rest of the world, with Rhodey being one of the Avengers who live to fight another day. Marvel's latest Disney Plus series, Secret Invasion, just retconned Avengers, Infinity War's final scene, making it worse in the eyes of many fans. The recent scroll-based project shocked audiences by revealing that War Machine himself was one of the shape-shifting aliens. Not only that, but the swap might have happened as early as Captain America, Civil War. This understandably led to plenty of backlash regarding the decision, with many fans exclaiming that it ruined key MCU scenes. The main example used was Tony Stark's death in Avengers.